Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to episode number 65 of my lower league management playthrough in Football Manager 2014 with Bath City. Here, it's time for the important stuff. Played through the first couple games, but now it's time to really get into the season, get stuck into it and when cup runs come around, have to deal with them. I probably wouldn't do well in cups and I believe I have the team to go as far as I guess I need to. Well, that's possible for me until we face like a higher team. And we need to as well. Look, the balance, it's in the red, and we need to improve that. But my full focus this season is to get promoted, because that's what I said I would do to the board. And if I don't, I'll probably get fired. And yeah, if I don't this season anyway, it'll it'll feel stagnant, and people might get bored. So I have to this season. And that I wanted to do that to maybe, because people said you're bored. Uh, if you get bored watching this, you might feel... If, I, if there's that pressure to, for me to come first or I'll get fired, you might want to see if I get fired or not. <laughs> Maybe that will be the case. Uh, but here, we need to bring in some changing here. We need to change something. Let's bring in Bob Gurney. Uh, Stavrenu is going to come on for Wooten. See, look at all these changes you have to make because of fitness problems. Well, not really. Yeah, I guess it is a problem if it's something that's not helping you. But this guy, exactly what I said, uh, Swirad. The guy who looks as a pretty crap player by his report as well, one star, but he's got the good defensive attributes. He's like Putman in defense. That's what I wanted to sign him. When I looked at him right away, I thought he would be a Putman. He's got those two high important attributes for his position, 13 marking and 14 tackling. Well, pretty high. Not as high as Putman, but still the best I could find that would want to come to my team at least. He played one game and got a 7.2 rating, so he did his job. That's what I'm all I'm looking for, players to do their jobs. Uh, anyway, we got Teddy Ngoy who'll come back, and also Pat Kieri. He's the guy who we... He's one of our new signings as a centre-back, so we were missing him for the first couple games as well, so it'll be very interesting to see how he does. He's got pretty good potential, and he would be a pretty good player for us. Uh, Wooten will come out, and I'll bring him to the bench in case we need to bring on a centre-back. I might anyway, just to give him some fitness. And yeah, that's something... Yeah, a real possibility I'll do that. And Stern to come back in. So we've got some big players coming in. We'll drop out Storson. But for me, actually, Slawson, he'll probably make the bench every game, if I'm honest, because he can play left mid and right mid. He's always going to be that backup for that kind of position. So yeah, he's always going to make, or more often than not, he's going to make the bench. We've got some players playing reserve because they need it, or like match fitness and that. Who have got Slauson on the bench. Glenn Poole. I probably want to start him ahead of Agapong. Then we can bring Agapong left back or left mid. He has, yeah, more versatility. They're all Williams. Should I start? Yeah, he's been at a club for a few seasons. I'll start him ahead of Poole, actually. Maybe he can provide something different. And, oh, yeah, definitely help us score. And I'm just waiting for Putman to come back, if I'm honest. Uh, defensively, I'm really happy. Of course, you've got to be happy when you don't concede. But let's go into the game. And try and get some wins in this episode here today. If we don't, we could be in trouble. But if I do, yeah, it'll be great. And unfortunately, I haven't seen the 3D gameplay yet. Because no one has scored. So that's a bit disappointing. But let's just go into the team talk and go assertively. I'll try assertive second option again. Yeah, Gurney was nervous. But Tolly uh, got a good reaction. He said, listen, passionately, I think, for him. Early chance here. Could we score Gurney? Stavrenu, back to Gurney, he scores, and as I said, I believe this guy, he could be better than Tolly. this could, he could actually have, I wouldn't say Premier League potential, but at least a potential to be a professional player, like maybe League One or maybe Championship, and you can see the replay here in the 3D, finally, yeah, uh, Stavrenu got the assist, again, he's making impact, so you see we play the defensive midfield, but he comes up, that's, it's defensive midfield on support, sometimes, yeah, you may think I may need to be more attacking with those, but I think it's a good balance. It's Gurney! Oh, finish! Oh, so close. I thought that would have been a goal for sure. We look better now after a while. Stern, Dutton, we look good now. Back at home. This is good. Very good start here. Confident. Probably deserve to be more than just 1-0 ahead. Maybe 2-0. But yeah, it's been a good performance nonetheless. We move up to 8th now. This is what we need. We need to win and go on a run of winning as well. I'll just say, yeah, guard against complacency. You're winning that 1-0. 1-0 one 
One nil is the perfect time to do it. If you're winning more than one nil, you praise your team. I reckon that's the best combination in my experience anyway, especially in this save. I've been changing it up a lot uh, to my reactions. So yeah, this has been good. Good defensively. So I'm playing on attacking and very fluid, but our defense has been amazing. We haven't conceded a goal yet this season in the league. Third game now. Uh, Tolly will come off here just to keep his match fitness and we'll bring on Slauson. Like I said, he's going to have a lot of games off the bench for us and Stern will come striker. He's the only option we can really put there. And then Glenn Poole will come on for... I don't know what to do here. No, actually, I'm going to bring on Agyapong. Agib almost called him Agyapong. But anyway, uh, Paul... Or Ball, sorry. Yeah, Ball comes off and Barkley, Agapang comes in there. And then Pat Carey to get some match fitness. I'll take off Plough right, then put Swyrad into right back. There you go. I'm happy with that. Slauson, pressure off. Agapong, pressure off as well. So it works young for, uh, good for young players. It seems relaxed. But this guy, Carey, he's still young, but he's 21. I noticed if they're older than 20, it doesn't really work. Yeah, they have to be under 20. That's what my experience anyway. Come on. We've, we could have the win here. Just score again to make sure of it. Stavrenu, he's been good. Dutton, Stavrenu. Dutton, find Slauson. Oh, that was so close. A good chance, though. Good chance. Oh, Gurney's picked. This is not good. He's picked up a knock. But we're going to win. That's a positive sign. We're going to get a win on the board. Come on. This is where our season starts. This is where it starts. Bob Gurney, man of the match, player of the match, whatever you want to call it. A great game. Restricted my opponent to only one shot on target. How about clear-cut chances? We had one, and yeah, we're not having heaps, but they had none as well. So we had way more shots, and that's what I've got to be looking to do. So here's today's game against Boram Wood. They're sitting in third, so they've had a very, very good start to the season. But they're a team I have to be beating. You know, I put their expectations to come first. Once again, if you missed earlier episodes... Uh, at least our squad harmony is in a good position. They're satisfied with that at least. Or satisfied in total, you can see there. Satisfied with my management of the team. But Skrull South now, the minimum expectation is the team to win the Skrull South this season. It's about time as well. So I'm going to go for that. And if I didn't say that, I wouldn't have had the wage budget to sign. Because it's zero. I really just went for as much as I could. That's why it's zero right now. And if I didn't put that, those expectations, I would have had less of money to work with and might not have as many players as I do. So maybe I need that pressure. So come on. Uh, Pat Carey actually going to come in for Swirad. He's a bit better overall player. Uh, Bob Gurney had to drop out because, yeah, fitness problems. Stern, I'll bring him in uh, complete forward support. He's good there because he can score, but he can also create, you know, He's a creative player. And playing on the right side, it's almost like right wing as well. So he's a good player. Actually, Curtis McKenzie to come in instead of Kieri. Kieri will be on the bench instead of Swyrad. Just need to make some changes there. Plough right, he's done okay. Well, yeah, the defense has done pretty good, haven't they? If we haven't conceded a goal yet, yeah, I'm surprised the ratings aren't better. And look at all those games in a row, though. The friendlies including... Look at all those games. Even Hereford, or Hereford, where are they? They're in the Skrull Premier. So, that was a decent result, winning 3-0 against them. Uh, Bradley Hindmarch, he probably deserves a start as well, but he's injured right now. Well, yeah, he deserves a chance in the team because he's got good potential, decent league too. But he doesn't look that amazing right now, that's what I mean. I don't know. He doesn't look he can make an impact, judging off of his attributes. That's what I mean. But anyway, I reckon we're going to bring Glenn Poole back into a starting position. Yeah, Putman's very close to coming back as well. He won't be too far away from some games, which is very exciting uh, for me personally. So we'll just go in. Yep, the team selected. Strong team. I believe it's my strongest team yet in all the seasons I've played. And that's what I mean. I've played seasons up till now to make my team improving every year. And I believe I've done that. It's probably the best it's been, hasn't it? Leave your thoughts, though. But I believe it's the strongest ever, especially with Tolly and your Churchill and Gurney as well coming through with those regions. Of course, it's going to be better. 
But I believe it's a really, really strong team. But here we are playing against a strong team as well. Jamal Lowe is the striker. I don't think he's that dangerous. He's got a little bit of pace, but he doesn't look that good. So I don't think we'll waste time on him. How about their central attacking midfielder? He scored two goals. Have to be careful of this guy, uh, Chris Shepard. I'll tight mark him and show on to weaker foot. How about their wide players? Dwayne Samuels. You know, he's not that good. Hasn't even goaled or assisted yet. Uh, Mark Bannister. He scored a goal, but a regen doesn't look that good. How about their midfielders? Joe Ward. Again, another regen. So he's got a team full of regens. It's not full of regens, but they've got quite a bit. Liam Kinsella. Didn't he come from a bigger team? No, I thought it was someone else. But anyway, he's got good passing. He can assist. So you've got to watch out for him. What I'm going to do with him is close down and try on to weaker foot. There we go. Hopefully that will do something. I'm not sure if it will, but remains to be seen. Assertive. Uh, second option, go out and impress me. Okay, see, eventually, when I keep doing that consistently, it gets a bit better reactions. I believe we can win it. You may say, don't go attacking when you're playing away from home, but we got to act as a team that's going to finish first. And teams that are the dominant team in the league, they always go attacking, regardless if they're playing away from home or something. And we've got to play for wins, not play for draws. Stern, this is what I mean. Finish it. Come on. That is what we want. That is what we want. Bath up to a fly. And that's what I mean. Going attacking, that's why we scored right there. That was better. See Stern down the right side, like I said. Then Tolly making his impact in the air. Then Dutton, he in the air as well. Very dangerous there. Well done. Well done. So we're playing on this attack, and we haven't even conceded a goal yet this season, so I'm happy to continue going on it without changing to a more defensive style because we're dominating. Look, another chance, potentially. Paul, Stavrenu, it is! It's a goal! Oh, it won't count. That pisses me off so bad. Okay, we'll see here if he's offside. Check. Let's check. Oh, yeah, I guess... Yeah, he is. He is. It was offside. But I thought it looked like a goal. It was close, though, but, yeah, technically it was offside. Come on, defend well here, because you know what happens after we get a disallowed goal. <laughs> you know what happens then, don't you? Uh, we concede. How did I know? How did I know? Just to some cross out of nowhere, and it just somehow leads to a goal. See here, we'll... It's good to see on the replay here. You can see a bit more close. What? Um, didn't that come off our player? What the hell? I told you. There must be something scripted into the game. When, when you get a disallowed goal, some BS happens. I'm serious. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It, it happens every time. I'm just trying to be realistic and talk about it the way I feel. <sighs> Assertive. Keep going out there. You can still win today. Not good reactions. When there's no green lighting up, I'm not happy. We should have been winning. We could have been 2 nil ahead. Ah, oh, come on. This can't be a goal, no. Oh, my God. It can't be another one of these seasons where we just go up and down, up and down, because then I'm not going to get what I said. Come on, ball. Pull. Stavrenu. We need a goal, and quick. Tolly. Oh, my God. Stop giving it away. No. Uh, what can I do? Make changes? That's all I can do, really. Look at that. Dutton's actually played well. Let's bring on Gurney. We'll take off. Oh, Tolly hasn't played that good. Uh, Paul will come off and we'll bring on Williams. <sighs> Not much more I can do. I'll just do two subs for now, though. Pressure off and a faith in you. We can still get at least a draw out of this game. Come on. 
Wow, nothing's happening. George Byers will come on for Stavrenu, I guess. But again, pff. what can I do? There's not more to come from you. Let's just continue here. We're not going to get anything. We're not going to get anything. Overload, but it's over anyway. If anything, they're going to score. Oh, it's going to go in. It was going to go in. <laughs> I know that doesn't count, but still, it would have went in. Uh, we were just unlucky. We were unlucky. We actually were because we did get that second goal. It was 2 0. It could have been 2 0. Yeah, not it was. It could have been. Oh, frustrating. And we need Putman back. Come on. Next game home to Brackley. Where are they? Brackley. Oh, they're in top four as well. Or, yeah, they're fourth. That's what I mean. Oh, it's going to be hard. It's gonna, We need our injured players back. Like, Agapong just got injured. He's a really good player. Uh, John Duff, well, he wouldn't have really made it. But Putman, he's going to be playing. I don't care what his fitness is. If he can be selected, he's going to be selected. And interesting here, we've actually got an offer from Wasteland Beveren from Belgium for one of our players, Teddy Ngoy, who's actually uh, Belgian as well. You can see he was actually born in Belgium. For they, He started at Standard Liège, didn't break through. That's weird. It's weird that he'll start there, then go to School South. Because that's a non-competitive league. Well, not non-competitive. I mean, like, it's like semi-professional. It's like part-time. That's a bit weird. I'm surprised. I saw that before, but I never messenger, uh, mes mentioned it, sorry, because it wasn't when I was recording. But anyway, I'm surprised they would, <laughs> someone would want to sign him. But the thing is, he's only worth 4.5k. What can I sell? I'm just going to put something like 20k. Suggest terms. They don't even want to pay anything. No thanks. 10k, suggest terms. Or oh, they accepted it. <laughs> okay, accept offer. Let's just say the offer was too good to turn down. If you think about it, yeah, 10k for a player, thats it's acceptable for a player that can be replaced. And what is he on? He's only on 250 weight. That's not heaps. Wow. That's not heaps. Like, I'm not sure who we can get to replace him. I'll just do, yeah, just do accept. Because we're in, we're 100, we need as much money as we can. We're 100k in the, in the red, which is not good. So he's going to leave. But the thing is, should I sign someone else? See, we only get 1k of that. Or 2k, almost. It's not heaps. But I put all in the wage budget, basically, and it brings the 375. Okay, it's more than I expected, so we could go and look out. I'll do it after this game because we're about to play a game, and then I can have more, uh, more of a look a bit later. See, look here. Apartment, he resumes full training, so he's going to be ready. He's going to be ready to play. He's back from his injury. He's on 18 finishing. The lad's ready. Come on. This is where our fortunes can change. He's the guy who's going to do it for us. He needs to remain fit, though. I can't have another long-term injury. He's the crucial player, especially as Gurney. Yeah, he's also picked up an injury now as well. And it's for a few weeks, I think. Yeah, yeah just about a month he'll be back. So you can see that. And it's a perfect timing for him to come back, I guess, as well. we still got uh, Brendan Vallier, who's decent. He's improving as well, as you would expect for a young player. Uh, with the guy with the good attributes, or some good attributes. But come on, this will be the last game of this episode. We've got to look for a win. Come on. Partman will come back in. I'm not sure whether to start him. No, what I'm going to, yeah, I am going to start him ahead of Slauson. Then I'll take, I'll bring, yeah, put Stern into that right midfield, right wing position. Partman, stop with Tolly. Partman's just the natural strike, advance forward, the guy to score the goals. Oh, come on. Who do I start, though? And actually, interesting thing, Paul, he's in, look at this, 35 years of age, and he's increasing more attributes than he's decreasing. And look at those, physical attributes improving. That's insane to see. 
He's got some good preferred moves as well. Shoots from distance. He's got long shots as well. So please do something. He's a quality player. Pat Carey will come in. You can see there. Agupong coming back from his injury soon. Uh, so I'm not sure if we should need if we have to get another centre back because we've got options. We've got enough options, I think, but we'll just see. Even Garner could play there if needed. I'm training him to play the defensive midfield where he can't play yet at all, so who knows. But he only got five tackling. That's something to keep in mind. But uh, Swirad will make it to the bench. Valia, you think he'll have to... We'll need another striker on the bench, surely, because Putman, he can't play the whole game. Don't want him to get another big injury. But I need him to play now because I need to put the pressure on other teams and I need to start winning or the pressure is going to be on me, which is not good. Uh, but who do I take off here? Actually, I'll take off Watton. And then I'll bring on Valier. We need a striker to come on, and he's the one to do so. Uh, but yeah, Bob, we always seem to get an injury. One player comes back, and then one other important player. But if you think about it, he's just a young player. So if I just think about that, we could have easily not got him in the youth intake. So let's go. Has to be a win at home as well. Got to take these chances. Especially as we're expected, or my yeah, my expectation from the board now is to come first because I said I would uh, to get those extra wages, as you know. Come on, do it for the fans. Brian Dutton is motivated. Hopefully he can get an assist for a goal or something. Oh, come on. Go. And to go, for, yeah, to finish first, you probably need to get win like runs of winning often. And a lot, like heaps of wins in a row. Like a dominant team in the league would. We need to do that. We, I think we do. I personally do think we have the tactic and the players now to do so. We just need them on, all on the pitch at the same time. Like Putman here, do something. Nah, he just wasted it. Obviously, that's not his strength crossing. But still, you can't waste opportunities. Tackle. Come on. Oh, lucky. Churchill's been pretty good. Uh, as you know, I've had a lot of praise for him. There's been a few chances for both teams. Uh, early in this half, quite a few chances. Still only 26 minutes gone. And there's another chance here for someone. Don't make an error, please. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm not liking this. I don't like this. Oh, come on. Oh, lucky. I swear this can give you some heart attacks. And I'm probably going to get more heart attacks now because I said if I don't come first, I'll probably get fired. Come on, defend. What are you doing? What's that? Oh, this is not good. They're just making heaps of errors. What can I do to stop errors? There's not much you can do. It's just player quality. Oh. Stavrenu, Putman, finds Tolly. Oh. Come on, you got to get that. He's got that before. Paul, dangerous, but not dangerous enough. Stavrenu. Need to do much better. Tolly now. Stern, get past. No, given this is probably in this game. This is the most errors I oh, f yeah. Like I said, this is probably the most errors I, my team has ever made in a game. I'm surprised we haven't gone behind yet. Come on, we need to do better. Putman, huh? Oh, I need him on because I need a score, but I don't want him to get injured. I'm far from pleased. If ever I was to say it is now because we've played poor. Again. What the hell is wrong with these players? You can't pass. I reckon yeah, I have to take Putman off. Can't get him injured. But I need a score. But he's gone to 54 condition. He has to go off. Uh, Valier will come on. Pull to come off as well. Bring on Williams. Uh, Byers, maybe? I don't even know. I'll just, yeah, do two subs in case I get an injury. Or a red card. Pressure off. 
And Gulliams, I have faith in you. Come on. We need to be winning these games. These are games a team that's going to finish first win. And if we don't, it's not looking good. You know, look at all this condition. Pat Slauson might need some... And just another pacey player, but he's not even pacey. I just say pressure off. Just go overload. There's not much time left anyway. There you go. Far. We've had too many of these results early. Nil-nils. That could have easily been wins. But this could have easily been a loss because we played crap. So again, assertive. I'm far from pleased. Stavrenu, I'll just say, I'm pleased with his... See, why do... Oh, I don't even know that. I don't even know, but... Anyway, at least we're not losing too many. We lost once, but... I think that's it for now. Yeah, this episode was pretty long. We edited down, won't be 40, as you saw. But we're 13th. That is not first. I'm not sure if it's affected in the confidence yet. School South, it's not... Have it, yeah, I think they wait a while to judge you, like a month or something, which is good. Uh, but, yeah, it doesn't look good right now. We have to start winning. Uh, Tolly is facing a confidence crisis, but I don't know. He's young, but... Berkeley Agupong is back, so... Yeah, hopefully enjoy this episode. It was okay. Uh, we lost, though. We got one win, but Gurney got injured. Hopefully Putman coming back, getting his fitness, will be a good spark, but it remains to be seen. If you enjoy the episode, drop a like and I'll see you guys next time.